orange chicken is, I think my soulmate. When did I become such a blackie? Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. You are a disrespectful piece Hey girls, welcome to another Amberlynn video. I get a bit heated in this one too because Amber really just rubs me the wrong way sometimes. With that, let's get right into the video. Before we even get started, let's look at the title. My immediate thought when I read the first part was, that's rich. Let's continue. Hello, hi, welcome to a new vlog. So I am just about to do my makeup. And while I do it, I'm gonna listen to Leftovers. It's one of Ethan Klein's podcasts. It's not my favorite of the five he does a week, but I think I'm just gonna listen to it for some white noise. So yeah, I will see you guys when my makeup is completed. Okay, so I am done with my makeup. Now I am just on Instacart. We decided that we're going to order today and I'm just trying to think of, because as you guys remember in my last vlog, I'm just like all over the place when it comes to what I want in my life. I'm going to let this next section show you guys why I'm not adding a like counter unless you guys beg me for it. If you really, really, really want one, I'm sure I can do it, but just watch this next part. And it's like, I think I just need to go back to like basics when it comes to weight loss, like the obvious, like just eat healthier. It would be a miracle if you could do even just that for more than a week. Um, and I just noticed that like my brain, when I think of like eat healthier, goes to like meats and veggies. Let me know if you really, really like the like counter. Oh my God. And I will try to add it in, but right now I'm not adding it for this video. Hopefully you can see why. Because I've never been the one to think that like carbs un are unhealthy, but like carbs, I'm, I'm like, I'm mad at carbs right now. <laughs> like it's not carbs fault that I'm fat, but like carbs and lipedema, they don't really jive very well and I have lipedema. So I don't know. I just, I have a lot on my mind right now. I'm just, so far on my Instacart, I just have a bunch of meat. <laughs> So now I'm going to add some veggies that I know that I'll enjoy, which is like broccoli and stuff, but I'll show a haul when it gets here. Decent, I guess. She just needs to find stuff for every meal. You probably won't want a slab of meat for breakfast every day. Add some fish so you have variety too. Y'all, why can't I just have like a forever Snapchat filter on my face? Like, look how cute. This is one of my most favorite Snapchat filters. So adorable. She really does just run out of stuff to put in the video. And why does she have to scar our eyes with this? I thought I was recording this whole time and I wasn't. Let me start over. I got my groceries and I hold this, but I had already put it away until I realized my camera's not even on. Steak, then pork chops. Got some potatoes. I know I was just talking about carbs, but having one potato never hurt anyone, I promise. Not only did, am I fat and you had to beat on my back, but like I choked on a potato and shit my pants and almost like died in front of you, like. What is that? I got some good old white onion. I got these loaded cauliflower bites, bacon cheddar. I really like the O oh snap pickles and I guess they have a hottie bite one which is hot and spicy pickle cauliflower wings and sweet chili uh, brussels sprouts two bags of broccoli I got some turkey smoked sausage last but not least I just got some chicken breast tenderloins hopefully none of it goes to waste most of it is healthy and hopefully she keeps it healthy let's do a popsicle stick question all right let's see what we're getting today 16 these are the ones we've already answered do you think Chantel lies about her weight wow that's some tea so when i first started youtube you can go back and look i weighed about 370 maybe in the 360s um it was definitely somewhere around there and i'm about i would say two inches taller than Chantel. i think Chantel is 5'1 and she's saying she's about 370 and i'm like five two and a half five three so based on my experiences the way my body shaped the way i used to look etc etc i think she's 100 percent telling the truth okay clickbait moment i see can't really blame her though i've done the same thing and I understand that that's not everyone's opinion, which is totally fine. But the same people who think she's faking her weigh-ins are the same people who think I'm faking mine. And I'm definitely not. I have never faked a weigh-in. Um, I even went to the good old weight loss clinic, weighed myself on their scale, vlogged it for you guys, uploaded it. And even after doing that, there were still some people in conspiracy theory land thinking that that wasn't even real. I do believe her weigh-ins, but there have been times when she's gone weeks without actually showing a weigh-in that I believe she could have lied during. She's also lied about eating healthy before, obviously. But just based on my experience, 
and all of that. I definitely do not think that she is lying about her weight. For some reason, there's just a large quantity of people who want her bigger than what she really is. And I have the same type of audience. Obviously, I'm not saying everyone's like that, but there is a portion of her audience and a portion of my audience who want us bigger than what we really are. It's not that those people want you bigger, they just believe that you are bigger because of how much you lie and deceive your audience. And I'm just like, I don't get it. I don't understand it. It's weird, it's creepy, but I feel like you have to be in that position to kind of understand how it feels. And I don't want people to think I'm sticking up for Chantel. It's just like, no matter if you're a good or a bad person, I think that like, why does the topic of how big someone is always has to be some weird conspiracy and people trying to make it like a lot worse than it already is when it already is pretty bad, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's just a mess. Okay guys, so I wanted to do a taste test of the Hottie Bites. I don't think I've ever had spicy pickles from my remembrance, but who knows. Is there an Amberlynn Reed dictionary? I need to see if there is. R is for remembrance. They smell like normal pickles. Oh, there's a hint of something going on. There's a hint of spice. It's like while you're eating the pickle, it tastes like a normal pickle. But then when you swallow, it's like, oh, okay, I feel something. Cover all 9,000 taste bud. Aerate it. Warm it up. Mm, that's a 10 doesn't change the flavor of the pickle at all just a hint of spice so freaking good cool i guess hello beautiful people so i'm actually currently just journaling and i do that on my macbook first and i want to journal about five things that i am currently grateful for so five things i am grateful for and i kind of just want to do this with you guys so maybe you guys can do the same thing because i know like lately i've just been in a whole different world like i literally feel like i'm in a different world and i have just been hurting so much and just feeling so sad and just like i don't want to say self-destructive but i'm sure from an outside <laughs> from an outside view i look self-destructive promise i'm not definitely self-destructive maybe not on purpose but she's always been self-destructive but I forget to like think of the things I'm grateful for and thankful for and I feel like a lot of people take things for granted like every single day. Oh, she wants to talk about taking things for granted. I'll list something she takes for granted each time she lists something that she's grateful for. So, five things I'm grateful for. My fur babies is number one. Always number one. They're my literal heart and soul. One. She takes her pets for granted because she doesn't properly care for them no matter how much she overfeeds them on treats or cuddles with them. Poor Twinkie needs a walk at some point. Is pet neglect enough to get her to walk a longer distance than from the couch to the kitchen? Two, I'm gonna say friends because friends are important and as of lately, I've actually made a few new friends, so I love that for me. Two, she takes all of her friends for granted and treats them like crap, which is why they've all left her. Three, I'm gonna say Feline because I'm still extremely grateful for her, her friendship, who she is, and I know I could categorize her as part of the friends, but to me, she's more than that. Three, she takes Feline for granted. She didn't listen to any of her healthy tips or advice, and Amber has actively been trying to guilt trip Feline back into the relationship. She's also been using Feline as her only form of transportation for over a year. And I also want to say I'm grateful for my family. Four, she's definitely taken her family for granted. If she's so grateful for them, she should reach out to them more. In the past, she's also lied about family members, namely her aunt, and had to come back on and publicly apologize for lying about her. My aunt has completely stopped talking to me. In December, um, she blocked me on Facebook. She blocked me on her cell phone, blocked my number completely. Um, I have no way of getting a hold of her whatsoever. And the reasoning is because I'm fat. Okay, I'm not kidding. I know that sounds bad saying it like that, but the truth is it's because I'm fat. No, my aunt, you know, she didn't stop talking to me because I'm fat. She stopped talking to me because of the issues I brought upon her, I guess. And if she's watching this, I am so sorry. And I really just, I wish I could change who I am as a person because I really want my aunt back. Like it's, it affects me, it really does. Last but not least, I wanna say I'm grateful for YouTube. I want to say I'm grateful for you guys, my supporters, and you guys keep me on my toes because you guys have been telling me, girl, 15 days of uploading, don't mess up. I posted on my community post today, literally. I was like, oh my god, you guys, my video's gonna be up later. And I got a message on Instagram and someone's like, I better be up before midnight. I was like, okay, I got you. Five, she takes YouTube for granted. 
Most of her viewers are not her yes men, but are also the ones viewing her the most and bringing in that money for her. She definitely isn't grateful for the critics. She also takes YouTube for granted in the way that she has to put in minimum effort to get paid enough to not have to worry about a normal 9 to 5 job, yet she still complains. So I quickly was editing it. I just had like a busy, weird day. Obviously, you guys haven't seen it because I didn't vlog it. My attention was definitely put somewhere else. I was completely distracted today. So like I started editing, 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 and I was able to get it up still at uh, the right time. It was five minutes before midnight. It's fine, I promise. I also wanna do five things that I am hopeful for in the near future. For this list, I'll just call out if she's already failed at obtaining these things before this point. I'm gonna put connecting with other people. That goes with like family, new friends, just new people in my life. So it's something that I am hopeful for. She's already had connections with some arguably fun people in her life, but she's lost all of them again because of how she treats them. Destiny, Dana, which I have to admit was uncomfortable to begin with, Becky, Eric, Ricky, Hannah, Rafe. Those are just the ones I know of. There are more though. I'm also hopeful for weight loss. We know how that one's been going for the past almost 10 years. I am hopeful for a new positive outlook on life because I just feel like lately it's <laughs> been pretty negative. I try to be optimistic in any sort of situation. Like put me in a situation that is like intense, stressful, whatever it may be, and I will figure out something to say that is on the optimistic side of things. But lately I have been such a pessimist and I literally hate that about me right now. I can't necessarily say she's failed at having a positive outlook, but I do think she becomes overly negative and bitter about things sometimes. An example could be the breakup with Becky. She was so bitter. I'm also hopeful for improving my stamina. Stamina, mina, eh, eh. Sorry. She's failed at this as much as she's failed at weight loss. And last but not least, improving my relationship with food. Again, this kind of ties in with the weight thing. Healthy relationship with food equals healthier body and healthy weight loss. And honestly, it's so crazy because I named five things already, but I feel like I could continue on because now that I think of it, like there are a lot of things that I'm hopeful for in the near future, but I just catch myself like constantly just stuck in this like really sad dark spot currently. And I know I'm gonna get out of it. I have gotten out of every dark situation I've ever been in, every dark spot that I've been in, I have gotten out of it and somehow it has made me stronger. So I look at that and I look at my patterns in life and I know that I'm gonna come out strong again but it's just like right now we're we're in the thick of it and that's just like what i'm going through but being hopeful for a lot of stuff is absolutely normal but doesn't mean it's going to be obtained and yes you probably will come out fine just like you have before again and again and again that's not a good thing, by the way, because you dug yourself into all of those holes that you keep having to climb out of. Thankfully, journaling has been an absolute savior for me. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to make some pork chops. I have no idea what I'm doing, so come for me gently, please. Come for me gently. I don't know why that was so funny to me. So I'm just gonna season. You know what, I'm gonna have two. These are thin with some garlic salt. I think I'm gonna do some black pepper. Again, I know nothing about flavor profiles, so some of you chef girls let me know if that seasoning is good. Obviously, she used way too much of it though. So I'm gonna put them in the air fryer, wash my hands, and then show you guys. Okay, so they're in the air fryer. This is the gross plate. This is what it is looking like, just some raw pork chops, and I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, so it's been about six minutes and I'm nosy. How far is she? Oh! What? Only six minutes and it's already that cooked? I'm shocked. So I'm weird when it comes to meat, as so is a large quantity of people. So I like to use a meat thermometer. <laughs> I was actually about to recommend this. You do not mess with raw pork. Yes, I do. This smells so good, wow. So I'm gonna give this maybe another minute or two and then it's gonna be finished. All right, my pork chops are finished. Weirdly, it is literally all that I'm craving right now. So I don't feel like making anything else. Sorry, but that looks so good to me. Cooked perfectly. It's probably so dry. Pork jerky. Let's try a little bite. Ooh, that hot. I swear these lights in my kitchen, <laughs> they don't do anything justice over here. 
Mmm. Oh my god. That tastes so good, but I will say next time I should probably season it a little less. Well, yeah, you can't put a fourth cup of seasoning on one pork chop. That's okay. I haven't cooked a pork chop in, I don't know how long it's been. Not me just using my hand. It's hot. This tastes so good. But practice makes perfect, folks. I use too much seasoning, but it still tastes good. And I'm able to scrape off some of the seasoning. Not me being a rookie and cooking meat in the air fryer. Oh my god. What a loser I am. Not gonna deny that one. Through this whole, like, breakup era, I have had a lot of people reach out to me on Instagram because my DMs are open, honey. If you need someone to talk to, I'm here because I've been needing a distraction and I'm trying to like build new connections. I hate that I low key want to message her to see if we can chat. I wouldn't even mention YouTube. I would probably just dump my feelings about random things and see how she responds. Curiosity killed the cat. And that just brings me like, people are asking like, how did you meet friends? in your city if you never go anywhere. And I'm just like, I don't vlog everything. But um, recently when I was talking about the people that I hung out with on 4th of July, I actually met them probably like a year and a half ago. I was at a bar. Yes, I was. That's weird to hear Amberlynn Reed at a bar. I get it. I actually went a couple times before I stopped drinking and I haven't had a drink since April of 2022, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, I met this girl there and then I later on met like her cousin and then that like ventured off and I was able to like form friendships with people. What is she doing to that poor table in front of her? that are outside of a relationship because I feel like I've always just like had friends because of my relationship. That's true. I also wonder if her new friends know about her channel and everything. How do they stand her personality though? Or the people that were in my partner's life. I was always like in their life and a part of their life instead of them being in mine. It felt like a little bit. So it was kind of cool. Like with Feline, it wasn't like that at all. She was part of my life and hung out with my friends. So it was just like, I don't know. It was kind of cool. It was new. It was different. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So this whole like breakup era has had so many of you guys reach out to me saying that like this whole thing has made you stop watching reaction channels. And I just want to say thank you. Not for not watching them, but for acknowledging the poison that reaction channels put inside of the community and it's not cute lacks sympathy it lacks empathy and you guys actually say it better than i do word it better than i do like, like i feel like there comes a time where it's like okay are you a reaction channel truly reacting or are you just like biasly nitpicking and just trying to keep the money flowing by not being empathetic towards my situation etc etc like let me put up a better picture because you girls are about to be looking at it for a hot minute I don't make money. I know a lot of other reaction and commentary channels don't make money. I do this because a lot of people are still trying to make sense of you. That and I call out people that I just don't think are good people. What am I biased by? The fact that I've seen you being a bad person and failing everything for five years? I wouldn't call that biased, I would call that informed. I feel bad for those people that stopped watching commentary channels and ran to you instead. I did the same thing a few years ago when you seemed devastated by the breakup with Becky and I thought commentary channels were being too harsh. Actually, I'd like to take this time to apologize to the commentary channels for not trusting you during that time. I was manipulated by Amber into actually feeling bad for her. Until a week later, she had wifey and moved on from Becky no problem, even though she had been crying about how she'd never date again. Hopefully, if there are real people messaging you, they'll wake up too. I have empathy and sympathy. I just don't give it to people like you anymore. So many of you have reached out to me and said like, whoa, I'm finally seeing like their true colors. And I just think that's like interesting because back when I had cancer and stuff, it was kind of like so many people were like, oh my God, I'm so glad like the reaction channels aren't reacting to Amberlynn anymore. But then like as soon as like I made it very well known that I didn't have cancer anymore, they like hopped on the, the wagon again, the reaction wagon. And it's like, wow, cool. Like you did something that just seems morally correct and i feel that way like in the same way like when people are grieving or mourning or just like thoroughly having like mental illness <laughs> i don't want to put it lightly but like i'm obviously clearly going through something and just for like so many people to put so much like bad vibes out there and like the fact that people are kind of noticing that and like reaching out to me and like making sure i'm okay like i appreciate that so much so i just want to say thank you i kind of get what you're saying but i also think you're over exaggerating you definitely have some mental stuff going on. We're just calling out the fact that you aren't addressing it properly. Gummies and food aren't healthy coping mechanisms since you're supposedly grieving. Grieving is also an overstatement here. Here's a conspiracy theory for you. 
Amber is coming up with excuses as to why we shouldn't call out her BS right now because she's finally getting some attention from newer viewers that don't know her yet and she's desperate to keep them from figuring out that her whole channel right now is full of BS. I don't necessarily believe this, just a theory. She seemed even more upset with the Becky breakup and she didn't have an issue with the reaction or commentary channels then because she milked it for weeks. Like, I appreciate that people are acknowledging that I am a human struggling right now and that I don't need to be kicked while I'm already down. And it seems like that's what all the reaction channels are doing. And I don't know. Acknowledgement goes a long way. <laughs> Hi, this is Editing Lynn before she's actually uh, fully ready for the day. I just want to say that I forgot to end this vlog last night. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Acknowledgement does go a long way. You've never seemed to acknowledge the toxic parts of yourself, though. We aren't out to ruin your life, we are simply here to get the facts straight. If you can't face the facts, that's on you. Let me end this by listing things that need acknowledgement or disproving. We are not entitled to her responses to these necessarily, but it would be nice. Things to acknowledge. 1. You have learned nothing from getting cancer. Proof. You are still unhealthy and unchanged now. 2. You're the reason all of your previous friends left you. Proof. None of them are in contact with you and all of them have said you are the reason. 3. You can't admit that you aren't doing well in general until it serves to shield you from criticism. Proof. This video and you trying to weaponize your viewers against us. 4. You can't admit that you're manipulative and controlling to people in your life, especially girlfriends. Proof. Crystal, Destiny, Becky, maybe even Feline. You all get my point. I could go on and on. Most of us don't hate you, Amber. We don't want you to fail. We just expect you to fail at this point. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry if the last couple of videos have been too heated. She's just infuriating at times. I appreciate you still watching though. I hope you have a great day. Bye!